Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a comedy family film called The Home in the Tree. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In a village of the central Shaanxi Plain lives a kid named Ba Wang. He is often misjudged by the teachers because of his bad grades. One morning, while the students of grade five are studying outside their class, Ba Wang is busy trying to steal comic books from the library. He builds a makeshift hook to fish the books, but is caught by Principal Yin. The man is Ba Wang's biggest hater. He doesn't support his creativity and thinks he's good for nothing. On being scolded for taking the books, Ba Wang retaliates. It turns out that he had lent the said books to the school library to share with other kids, but the principal misused them to show it to the education department as the school's property. They were never returned to Ba Wang, so he frequently tries to retrieve them. His Chinese teacher, Miss Jiao, is in the seventh month of pregnancy. When she asks Ba Wang to make a sentence out of a word, he unknowingly calls her fat and is sent out of the classroom. Similarly, in the following period, he is made to stand at the end of the classroom for not solving a math problem. Being punished has turned into a daily routine for Ba Wang. That day after school, Ba Wang goes to a field nearby. It has a tree that he has marked as his own. Every day after school, he climbs up it and stays there for hours. It is his favorite place in the world. Miss Zhao had asked him to meet her at the teacher's quarter after memorizing the homework that he forgot to do that day. Ba Wang does as told, but finds a beautiful woman instead of Miss Zhao in her room. The woman is Miss Fen, a substitute teacher who is going to take Miss Zhao's place during her maternity leave. Unlike most teachers, Fen is kind and patient with the kids. According to her, there are no bad students, only bad teachers. When Ba Wang tells her that he hasn't had lunch, she asks him to come back later. But right after, Miss Zhao arrives and refuses to let him eat until he memorizes the homework. Miss Fen calls her out for being mean to the kid, but she rationalizes it by claiming that Ba Wang deserves it for being naughty. Fen notices Ba Wang trying to drink water from a dry faucet and hands him a jar of pickle juice as a treat. Ba Wang is foreign to such treatment from a mentor, hence he starts to like her instantly. After the meeting, he goes to take a swim in the nearby lake. The school principal recognizes the clothes on the ground and brings them back to school. Poor Ba Wang has to use grass to cover himself on the way back home. A grown man forcing a child to walk around naked is illegal. The next day, he is given the clothes back and is made to write a self-criticism letter as a punishment for swimming in an unsanitary place. In the following scene, Ba Wang and his friends are playing games with a street vendor. They are told if they fish out 10 blue marbles from a pouch, they will be given a gift of their choice. Ba Wang uses his own marbles to cheat the vendor, but it turns out that the man had been fooling them all along, since there are no blue marbles in the pouch. They get into a fight and are stopped by Miss Fen. She takes the kid to his parents and vouches for him in front of them. But even after that, his father beats him. Ba Wang's mother loves her son as he is, but his father is always nitpicking on his flaws. The next day is Miss Fen's first day at work. She allows the kids to read comics, hoping that it will improve their grammar. The students are ecstatic because they have never been allowed to do so by the former teacher. Ba Wang is even happier when she makes him the librarian and puts him in charge of lending and collecting the books. He does the task efficiently and feels great to have that kind of authority over his classmates. It is his first accomplishment in five years of going to school. He brags about it to his father, who, as always, remains unimpressed. Instead of praising him, he urges the kid to get better grades instead of wasting his time. The following morning, Ba Wang goes to pick up the books from Miss Fen. She has a problem with her bed that he solves by getting pieces of wood from her carpenter father. Fen gives him a candy as a reward, which makes the kid like her even more. In only a week of teaching, Miss Fen becomes everyone's favorite teacher. Instead of just lecturing the students, she engages them in the class and lets them discover their creative side. The principal and other teachers are not very fond of her techniques as they believe that she is letting the kids misbehave. One day, Ba Wang leaves Miss Fen a bunch of mushrooms as a gift. Later, she looks for him and finds him under his favorite tree. They watch birds, play on the swing, and have a great time together. Meanwhile, Ba Wang continues lending the books and becomes quite popular among his classmates. He even lends the nicer books to the ones with better grades and encourages the others to study harder so Miss Fen would be praised for her work. During school nap time, Ba Wang falls off the bench and hurts himself. A sympathetic Fen allows him to sleep on her bed in the teacher's quarter. 
However, the plan backfires when Ba Wang takes a longer nap than he is supposed to and is found by the principal in her bed. No one gets Ba Wang naked but me, says the principal. He punishes the kid and gives him the last warning before telling his father about him breaking into a teacher's room. Ba Wang doesn't tell the principal the truth, fearing that Miss Fen might get in trouble. That night, the principal calls out Miss Fen for allowing the kids to read comics when they're supposed to study for their upcoming exam. She apologizes and promises to seize the comics until the exams are over. When Ba Wang comes to receive the books the next morning, he is told to focus on his studies instead. Miss Fen encourages him by promising to let him read all the books he wants if he passes with a better score. Ba Wang takes on the challenge and starts to study harder than ever. Initially, he struggles, being one of the lowest ranking ones in the class, but with hard work and determination, he soon gets the hang of it. The day before the exam, he gets nervous and decides to write cheats all over his body. Miss Fen finds him while he's at it and makes him take a bath in the lake to take it off. During the exam, Ba Wang is pleasantly surprised to see the questions are not as difficult. He does his best without taking help from anyone else. A week later, the results are published and he scores 73 out of 100, as opposed to failing as usual. Miss Fen is proud of him, to say the least. She feels accomplished that she was the reason he felt motivated to study harder. She even compliments his hard work in front of the class. Ba Wang cannot stop talking about his day at dinner. His mother is beyond happy to see her son finally studying harder, but his father is pessimistic, as always. Why do the dads in these stories always have a stick up their ass? He urges Ba Wang to get an honorary award that the top three students get. Only then will he gain his respect. The mother tries to change the topic, but he continues to undermine his son's accomplishments. The following day at school, Miss Fen suggests the principal add an award for the student who made the most progress in the last semester. But since the school cannot afford to award more students, he declines. During the award ceremony, Ba Wang is on his toes, hoping that his name will be called. He wants to prove his worth to his father, but is left disappointed by the end of the ceremony. Miss Fen feels bad for the kid and makes him a certificate of his own using blank paper and lipstick. Ba Wang is handed this in front of the class. She also takes his picture for memories. Miss Fen is getting more sus by the second. After school, he runs to his home and shows the certificate to his parents. His mother puts it on the wall, proud of him, but his father grouches about it not being an official certificate. Still, for one day, Ba Wang couldn't care less about what his father thinks. He is overjoyed that a teacher like Miss Fen existed in his life. Starting the next day, Ba Wang's classmates follow him around, wanting to be with the cool guy of the class. They also beg him to ask Miss Fen to take their pictures too. Ba Wang brags that he can manage it since he is very close with Miss Fen. She even calls him her groomer. One morning, he goes to her room to receive the comic books for the day, but the principal sends him away because Miss Fen is on a holiday. During nap time, Ba Wang cannot fall asleep because of her absence. He cleverly sneaks out of the class and breaks into Miss Fen's room. After looking around for a while, he finds the camera and brings it outside. All of a sudden, he notices Miss Fen and a guy entering the school. He immediately runs to her room and puts the camera back in its place before hiding under the bed. Miss Fen and her friend enter the room and start calling each other affectionate pet names. Ba Wang suspects that they are a couple and his suspicion is proven correct when they kiss. Fortunately, he is not caught in the incident, but the revelation does make his day worse. The next morning, Ba Wang walks into Miss Fen's room to find her boyfriend naked on her bed. The man helps Ba Wang with the comic books and then goes back inside the room. Although he is only a kid, Ba Wang is filled with jealousy, seeing that his favorite person is affectionate towards someone else. He may be Ba Wang, but that guy has a man Wang. Before returning home, he hears Fen compliment her boyfriend's looks. The next day, he takes an hour-long bath, gels his hair with glue, and wears clean clothes in hopes of impressing Fen. At school, his friends make fun of him, comparing his hair to a hedgehog. Miss Fen doesn't notice the change and asks him to take her and her boyfriend to the tree that he loves so much. She thinks that the place is romantic where she can spend quality time with her boyfriend. Ba Wang has to reluctantly take them to the field and show them around. The boyfriend plays on the swing while Ba Wang and Fen hang out on the tree. A while later, the couple goes cycling together. Taking advantage of their absence, Ba Wang uses a knife to cut the rope of the swing. He hopes to make the guy fall off of it, but the plan fails when Miss Fen swings on it next and gets hurt. As she screams in pain, the screen goes blank and the scene changes to two weeks later. 
Ba Wang is studying in class, still influenced by Fen, even though she has stopped teaching the school. During the lunch break, he receives a letter from her. In the letter, she claims that she misses him and everyone else in the class. She also encourages him to continue working hard so he can one day get the official certificate from the principal. It turns out that she is in the hospital because of a broken arm, but is recovering well. She also graduated the past week and has sent a picture of herself as a memento. In the last scene, Ba Wang goes to his favorite tree, which, unfortunately, has been cut down. He buries the letter and pictures in the front. As he walks away, we see a tiny twig growing from its bark, indicating that the tree will stand tall again sometime in the future. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.